Um, so, the, so the first thing to having a zero waste event is before the event. Think about what you're serving. You know, little things that we never really thought about. We used to serve popsicles at events. Well, you know how many sticks and wrappers you have from that? And um, just just any food in general. Um, and, and we haven't stopped serving popsicles because everyone loves a popsicle after a 4th of July event. But we plan for that. What are we going to do with the sticks? What are we going to do with the wrappers? So ahead of time, we meet with our zero waste director, who we, who we have, and we go through the menu. We go through anything new we might be offering at the race and talk about how are we going to dispose of this? What are we going to do with it? You know, what gets composted? What gets recycled? We used to use compostable plates and I thought, oh, okay, we can just throw them away and they get composted. And then I learned, no, you need to take them to the compost place to have them properly composted. If you put it in the trash, yes, it will compost, but it's going to take a very long time. So we, we do compost as much as we can. We have switched to compostable cups for our aid stations. Sometimes, like if we have a sponsor like Gatorade and we have the Gatorade cups, we want to use those cups. It's not fair to Gatorade to not do that, but we'll separate those and we will send them off to where those wax cups can be recycled. But um, we look at every piece of it and have a plan. At the end of most of our races, we have about one pound of landfill trash. And that's really just like a bag like this. And we weigh it, we always weigh it. That's, that's a tradition that we have. And we're really proud of that. But it, it, the key is, taking the steps before the race.